Now, Nate didn't know what happened with Cassie and Maddie, because when he exercises, he puts his phone on silent. Hang them outside the closet, my dear. The irony was, Nate woke up that morning feeling fantastic. Because after an 18-year dick swinging contest with his dad, Nate had finally won. His mom seemed to be handling it well. His brother, on the other hand. What is she so happy about? Not so well. It wasn't the 38 missed calls from Cassie that concerned him. It was the fact that there were zero calls from Maddie. Part of the reason Nate loved Maddie as much as he did is because she was loyal. But it's also what scared the living shit out of him. If anyone crossed her, she'd bury them. And he had now really fucking crossed her. And there was no doubt in Nate's mind what Maddie was about to do. You know when a kid shoots up a school and they go to interview the parents and the parents are like, we had no idea, he seemed like totally normal. And everyone watching is like, you're a fucking idiot. That's how I feel, but with Cassie. Look, I never trusted her. What, why? Because she seems like the kind of person who would fuck your boyfriend. I think I actually want to murder her. I get it. No, like actually, plan a murder and carry it out. I get it. Like a grisly murder, when that shocks the nation. I think that's more than understandable. <sighs> what about Nate? I have a few ideas. <laughs> 